Hey guys, appreciate you hopping into another video. This is just a quick follow up on the basis of my last farming video. We had a few people who didn't know the difference between a builder's wand and a builder's ruler. Uh, we're also going to be having a quick look at the block zapper and the infinita wand. Uh, so first things first in terms of how you get these items, if you come straight ahead of you into the bit shop with Elizabeth, you'll be able to grab the builder's wand for 12,000 bits and the block zapper for 5,000 bits. But you can see at the bottom from any of you, but these sell for about 6 million and about 3 million respectively. If you instead come sideways and go upstairs from doing the Jacobs competitions, you can gain Jacobs tickets. Jacobs tickets is a single Jacobs ticket which you can grab from doing uh, either one of the farming events or from the bazaar. That will give you the Infinita wand. And then if you go into the garden, come on over to the desk right here and go into Skymark. You will grab the Builder's Ruler for 20 copper, which you get from uh, serving the visitors that come onto your island. Or, as you can see at the bottom again, it's about 100,000, about 150,000 uh, if you do want to grab those from the auction house. Uh, now, if I come back to my island real quick, we will hop down to the bottom here, uh, in which I've got four different blocks of wool. I've placed these blocks specifically uh, for two reasons. One, because I know that the end of my island here is exactly 64 blocks, which makes it a little bit easier to explain everything. Uh, as it goes with the builder's, builder's ruler specifically, if you do want a different length, all you'll need to do is build up like that, uh, and it will work exactly the same. Uh, or if you do have a platform like I do, uh, then this is kind of considered an invisible wall because of the gap of blocks here. Uh, so I'll mine those three for the time being. Uh, first things first, the Builder's Wand has been out for quite a long time. Uh, I'm sure most of you already know how it works, but just in case, you click on the side of a block, and as long as you have that block either in your inventory or in the Builder's Wand, it will allow you to build out either to build lines, we've built lines of four there, uh, and that will continue until you've reached the limit of 241. Uh, equally, with the Infinita Wand, you just click, it will take one coin out of your purse, and if you put the Infinite Dirt Wand into the Builder's Wand, you will be able to extend that dirt infinitely and it will charge you respectively. Uh, that little 14, 12, 16 coin icon that's appearing just in the middle there, uh, that is from one of my mods, that's from Skyblock Extras. Now one of the main advantages of this Builder's Room, which is the main reason that I mentioned it specifically in my garden video, is that A, if you click here, you can see there we will immediately build a straight line but also the fact that if you layer these up properly, so were I to go orange, green, green, orange, green, green, orange, green, green, and repeat, that when I start clicking with this block, it will then replicate that pattern as I start pasting. Uh, this is how I managed to get the look of that was glass. Uh, I believe I had prismatic lights and wool for my bottom one. Uh, but the one thing I will say with that is be careful about having blocks in your inventory. Uh, if you have used the removal function, they will usually go into your inventory. So you do have to be a bit careful here. Because if I now start clicking, that's when the pattern will start getting destroyed. You'll start having random colors. Uh, until eventually I use up all those blocks and it will begin to fix itself again. There we go. One last thing that I've just uh, realized that I forgot to add uh, in this quick little video uh, is that if you do have the Infinita wand in your Builder's Ruler, that will take priority. Uh, so were I to start clicking here, all of the blocks placed will be dirt. If they're placed off in a random direction, this line will continue all the way down to the edge of the map. Here again, all the way down to the edge of the map. Uh, and then if I wanted to remove this, I could use either the Builder's Ruler there, or I could use the Block Zapper if I wanted to get rid of all of it. Pretty sure that clears everything up, but if you do have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments. Uh, and hopefully, I will see you guys again in another stream. Bye, guys!